Hello Scorpio, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your next person coming towards you in love and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And personal readings are on sale right now. You can receive a three question recorded video reading for $25 or an hour Zoom reading for $55. And everything that you'll need to know is in that description box below for you. All right, Scorpio, let's take a look and see what is going on for you guys. We're starting with some overall messages and themes and then jumping into your tarot. You have true love. Selfish. And past life. True love, selfish, and past life. I guess I have the card too busy winning at the bottom of the deck. I feel like that's you, Scorpio. I feel like you guys are too busy winning. I think somebody here who has been very selfish in the past when it comes to you, Scorpio. It's like almost somebody who like didn't realize what they had when they had it. That kind of an energy. I feel like they were selfish. I think things were kind of all about them on their terms. The whole connection, I feel like, was on their terms. Some of you guys, this is definitely somebody from your past, but for those of you that resonate with this, some of you guys, there could de this could definitely be a past life connection as well, somebody that you do have a very uh, very intense soul connection with here. Um, you have this true love energy for a time. I think maybe you guys felt like this was your true love. Maybe you still do, and I feel like they're starting to feel that way now. The thing is, is I feel like this person is definitely not... Finding you where they left you, Scorpio. We're going to be looking at their thoughts, their feelings, their intentions moving forward, their next actions, and the potential outcome. Show me this person's thoughts when it comes to Scorpio, please. We have the Knight of Wands. So one, I feel like they do want to move towards you pretty quickly here. I feel like they still have a very strong desire for you. They feel a very strong pull towards you. Um, I also feel like it is on their mind that, you know, in the past, especially because it's coming out right underneath this true love card, you know, in the past they didn't, you know, see what they had or they didn't appreciate what they had. Um, you know, they were thinking that while I had Scorpio and Scorpio was, you know, Scorpio loved me and gave me all this time, effort, and attention. You know, I was being in and out. I was being this Knight of Wands energy, you know. I was taking it for granted. I was being selfish. What are their feelings when it comes to Scorpio? How do they feel? I got the Knight of Pentacles. So that's quite the shift there. I feel like they're ready for that change, you know? I almost feel like they're tired, you know, of living their life that way. I feel like they're ready for, you know, stability. They're craving stability. They're craving security. They're, like, wanting to build, wanting to grow. Going from the Knight of Wands to the Knight of Pentacles, that is, that is quite the shift here. The Knight of Pentacles is also a card of planning and strategizing, figuring out what your next step is. They may be doing all of those things when it comes to you, like figuring out, okay, you know, what can I do moving forward to shift this? What can I do moving forward to get Scorpio back to, to get to this stable place that I want to be here? What are their intentions towards Scorpio? We have the Six of Wands. So I do like this. The Six of Wands to me is a card of, one, it just, they want this to work. Like they want this to be successful. I also feel like, especially because I have this huge feeling of regret when it comes to, you know, not seeing what they had when they had it. You know, not appreciating it, taking you for granted and losing it. And here, the Six of Wands to me can be a card of recognition and validation like giving somebody the praise and the recognition and validation that they deserve, appreciating them, you know, supporting them and uplifting them. And I feel like they're like, you know, if I get another chance with Scorpio, I'm going to do it right this time. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to tell Scorpio how amazing they are. I'm going to, I'm going to show them that I appreciate them every day. I'm not going to take them for granted ever again.
What are their next actions and behaviors when it comes to Scorpio? We have the Ace of Wands, so definitely taking action towards you. They want a new start here, and they're going to go for it, absolutely. What's the potential outcome? What is the potential outcome here? We got the full card, so them taking this chance, this leap of faith. I'm definitely going to want to clarify that. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Page of Cups, so somebody's definitely reaching out to you. Somebody's apologizing. Somebody's telling you how they feel here, Scorpio. So tell me about this. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. I definitely want to see that. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles here. Why is that here? Got the Empress. I also feel like this person is wanting to like make sure that they're in the best space for you as well. I mean, this could look like financially and things too. Um, the Empress is definitely a card of abundance. It's also a card of creation and growth. You know, I feel like this person, they're trying to figure out how they can do this, how they can create this with you. The Empress, I feel like that's also just how they see you. I feel like they see you in a very positive light. I think they think very highly of you. What is this full card here? Why is the full card here for the potential outcome? You got the Four of Wands. Some of you guys, this is twin flame energy, especially with this true love. You have this 1111 energy showing up here as well. Some of you guys may be seeing this, the numbers 1111 everywhere. Okay, that could be a confirmation for you guys. It doesn't have to resonate that way, but it very well could. And, you know, this can be a card of finally reaching a goal, a finish line, an accomplishment, a celebration, a union. You can talk about the home as well, planting new seeds, laying down new roots, stepping into like a portal energy, stepping into the next chapter. So I think there's a lot of potential if this is what you still want. If you still feel like this person is your true love, Scorpio, I feel like somebody's had some major realizations. This is might be one of the biggest shifts I've ever seen going from this Knight of Wands right immediately to this Knight of Pentacles here. This is a huge shift. And I think it looks really nice. But that is what I have for you, Scorpio. If this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements, everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personal readings, Patreon, or the tarot course. All of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, you guys can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys so much for being here, and I will see you soon.